In Belle Plaine tonight, school leaders met with the public after a firestorm erupted over a traditional salute involving guns. Tonight, everyone with an opinion came together to try and clear the air and find a solution. Fox 28 News reporter Dora Miller joins us live right now from Benton County to explain more. Dora? Karen, this all began when word spread that the school was not going to hold the 21 gun salute on Veterans Day due to guns being on the school campus. That kind of sparked a whole social media outrage. And then they had a meeting tonight about it, and the school leaders made it very clear that they were actually going to allow the 21 gun salute. Wall to wall people no, packed into this room to hear these words. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. On Wednesday night, the school board decided to allow the 21-gun salute, honoring tradition and the law. We're out for patriotism, camaraderie, and teaching the students what the veterans were. I want to thank the school board and the community for supporting us and deciding what you have. It means a lot to us. The decision comes after controversy, social media storms, and what some call slander of some school board members. So a lot of slander and different things were blown out of proportion. And I'm glad that the professionalism of the Legionnaires. Some suggestions. I would ask you to consider amending your resolution, resolution to include a unannounced event. And critiques. The clear and unambiguous reading of the law gives the superintendent and or the school board discretion at any time to allow firearms on school grounds. Mm -hmm. You do not need a policy. But overall, the board says they want to continue to work with the community. The ceremony will be held on Veterans Day. That is November 11th. It'll be at the Belle Plaine High School. Covering the corridor in Belle Plaine, Dora Miller, Fox 28 News.